How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. What is the chemical composition of a skunk's spray? The chief odorous components of the spray have been identified as crotal mercaptan, isopentyl mercaptan, and methyl crotal disulfide in the ratio of 4 colon 4 colon 3. The liquid is an oily, pale yellow, foul smelling spray that can cause severe eye inflammation. This defensive weapon is discharged from two tiny nipples located just inside. The skunk's anus either as a fine spray or a short stream of rain-sized drops. Although the liquid's range is 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters. Its smell can be detected 1.5 miles, 2.5 kilometers, downwind. What is the chemical composition of a skunk's spray? The chief odorous components of the spray have been identified as crotal mercaptan, isopentyl mercaptan, and methyl crotal disulfide in the ratio of 4 colon 4 colon 3. The liquid is an oily. Pale yellow, foul smelling spray that can cause severe eye inflammation. This defensive weapon is discharged from two tiny nipples located just inside. The skunk's anus either as a fine spray or a short stream of rain sized drops. Although the liquid's range is 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters. Its smell can be detected 1.5 miles, 2.5 kilometers, downwind. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves, which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard. Hunt and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, 
bluish gray. And 10, black, and 10, or tricolour, white, black, and 10. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves. Which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish gray. And 10, black, and 10, or tricolour, white, black, and 10. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. Which bear lives in a tropical rainforest? The Malayan sun bear, Ursus malayanus, is one of the rarest animals in the tropical forests of Sumatra. The Malay Peninsula, Borneo, Burma, Thailand, and southern China. The smallest bear species, with a length of 3.3 to 4.6 feet, 
1 to 1.4 meters. And weighing 60 to 143 pounds, 27 to 65 kilograms, it has a strong, stocky body. Against its black, short fur it has a characteristic orange-yellow colored crescent across its chest. Which according to legend represents the rising sun. With powerful paws having long, curved claws to help it climb trees in the dense forests, it is an expert tree climber. The sun bear tears at tree bark to expose insects, larvae, and the nests of bees and termites. Fruit, coconut palms, and small rodents are also part of its diet. Sleeping and sunbathing during the day, it is active at night. Unusually shy and retiring, cautious, and intelligent. The sun bear is declining in population as its native forests are being destroyed. What are the natural predators of the penguin? The leopard seal, Hydrarga leptonix, is the principal predator of both the adult and juvenile penguin. The penguin may also be caught by a killer whale while swimming in open water. Eggs and chicks that are not properly guarded by adults are often devoured by skuas and sheath bills. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. What is the most destructive insect in the world? The most destructive insect is the desert locust, Schistosura gregaria. The locust of the Bible, whose habitat ranges from the dry and semi-arid regions of Africa and the Middle East, through Pakistan, and northern India. This shorthorn grasshopper can eat its own weight in food a day. And during long migratory flights a large swarm can consume 20,000 tons, 18,144,000 kilograms, of grain and vegetation a day. What is the largest group of insects that has been identified and classified? The largest group of insects that has been identified and classified is the order Coleoptera. Beetles, weevils, and fireflies, with some 350,000 to 400,000 species. Beetles are the dominant form of life on Earth, as one of every five living species is a beetle. Why do cows have four stomachs? The stomachs of cows as well as all ruminants, are divided into four sections the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasums. Ruminants eat rapidly and do not chew much of their food completely before they swallow it. The liquid part of their food enters the reticulum first. 
while the solid part of their food enters the rumen where it softens. Bacteria in the rumen initially break it down as a first step in digestion. Ruminants later regurgitate it into the mouth where they chew their cud. Cows chew their cud about 6 to 8 times per day. Spending a total of 5 to 7 hours in rumination. The chewed cud goes directly into the other chambers of the stomach. Where various microorganisms assist in further digestion. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. And Western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 inches, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biety, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Felis sylvestris ornata. Inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. What is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America? The bison, bison, bison is the largest terrestrial mammal in North America. It weighs 3,100 pounds, 1,406 lyograms, and is 6 feet, 1.8 meters, high. What is unusual about the way the emperor penguin's eggs are incubated? Each female emperor penguin, Aptenidites first terry, lays one large egg. Initially, both sexes share in incubating the egg by carrying it on his or her feet and covering it with a fold of skin. After a few days of passing the egg back and forth, the female leaves to feed in the open water of the Arctic Ocean. Balancing their eggs on their feet, the male penguins shuffle about the rookery. Periodically huddling together for warmth during blizzards and frigid weather. If an egg is inadvertently orphaned, a male with no egg will quickly adopt it. Two months after the female's departure, the chick hatches. The male feeds it with a milky substance he regurgitates until the female returns. Now padded with blubber. The females take over feeding the chicks with fish they have stored in their crops. The females do not return to their mate, however. But wander from male to male until one allows her to take his chick. 
it is then the male's turn to feed in open water and restore the fat layer they lost while incubating. Why don't birds get electrocuted when they sit on wires? In general, birds do not get electrocuted while just sitting on power transmission wires. Most electrocutions happen when a bird opens its wingspan and completes a circuit by bridging the gap between two live wires or a live wire and a grounded wire or other parts such as transformers and grounded metal cross arms. What is the most popular state insect? The honeybee is by far the most popular state insect, having been selected by 17 states, Arkansas, Georgia, Kansas, Louisiana, Maine, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, nicknamed the Beehive State, Tennessee, Vermont, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. What first aid measures can be used for a bite by a black widow spider? The black widow spider, Latrodectus mactans, is common throughout the United States. Its bite is severely poisonous, but no first aid measures are of value. Age, body size, and degree of sensitivity determine the severity of symptoms, which include an initial pinprick with a dull numbing pain, followed by swelling. An ice cube may be placed over the bite to relieve pain. Between 10 and 40 minutes after the bite, severe abdominal pain and rigidity of stomach muscles develop. Muscle spasms in the extremities, ascending paralysis, and difficulty in swallowing and breathing may follow. The mortality rate is less than 1% but anyone who has been bitten should see a doctor. The elderly, infants, and those with allergies are most at risk and may require hospitalization. How sensitive is the hearing of birds? In most species of birds, the most important sense after sight is hearing. Birds' ears are close to their bodies and are covered by feathers. The feathers, however, do not have barbules, which would obstruct sound. Nocturnal raptors, such as the great horned owl, have a very well-developed sense of hearing in order to be able to capture their prey in total darkness. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. How are birds related to dinosaurs?
Birds are essentially modified dinosaurs with feathers. Robert T. Backer, 1945, and John H. Ostrom, 1928-2005, did extensive research on the relationship between birds and dinosaurs in the 1970s and concluded that the bony structure of small dinosaurs was very similar to Archaeopteryx. The first animal classified as a bird, but that dinosaur fossils showed no evidence of feathers. They proposed that birds and dinosaurs evolved from the same source. What is the name of the bird that perches on the black rhinoceros's back? The bird, a relative of the starling, is called an oxpecker, a member of the Sternidae family. Found only in Africa, the yellow-billed oxpecker, Bufagus africanus, is widespread over much of Western and Central Africa, while the red-billed oxpecker, Bufagus erythroincus, lives in Eastern Africa from the Red Sea to Natal. 7 to 8 inches, 17 to 20 centimeters, long with a coffee brown body. The oxpecker feeds on more than 20 species of ticks that live in the height of the black rhinoceros. Dicerus bicornis, also called the hook lipped rhino. The bird spends most of its time on the rhinoceros or on other animals such as the antelope, zebra, giraffe, or buffalo. The bird has even been known to roost on the body of its host. The relationship between the oxpecker and the rhinoceros is a type of symbiosis. A close association between two organisms in which at least one of them benefits, called mutualism. The rhinoceros relief of its ticks and the birds feeding clearly demonstrates mutualism. A condition in which both organisms benefit. In addition, the oxpecker, having much better eyesight than the nearsighted rhinoceros, alerts its host with its shrill cries and flight when danger approaches. Who introduced the gypsy moth into the United States? In 1869, Professor Leopold Trevelyan. 1827 to 1895, brought gypsy moth egg masses from France to Medford, Massachusetts. His intention was to breed the gypsy moth, Porthetria dispar, with the silkworm to overcome a wilt disease of the silkworm. He placed the egg masses on a window ledge, and evidently the wind blew them away. About ten years later these caterpillars were numerous on trees in that vicinity. And in twenty years, Trees in eastern Massachusetts were being defoliated. In 1911, a contaminated plant shipment from Holland also introduced the gypsy moth to Massachusetts. Gypsy moths are now found throughout the entire northeastern United States and portions of Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, and Michigan. The gypsy moth lays its eggs on the leaves of oaks, birches, maples, and other hardwood trees. When the yellow hairy caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they devour the leaves in such quantities that the tree becomes temporarily defoliated. 
sometimes this causes the tree to die. The caterpillars grow from 0.5 inch, 3 millimeters, to about 2 inches, 5.1 centimeters. Before they spin a pupa, in which they will metamorphose into adult moths. Do camels store water in their humps? The hump or humps do not store water, since they are fat reservoirs. The ability to go long periods without drinking water, up to 10 months if there is plenty. Of green vegetation and due to feed on, results from a number of physiological adaptations. One major factor is that camels can lose up to 40% of their body weight with no ill effects. A camel can also withstand a variation of its body temperature by as much as 14 degrees. A camel can drink 30 gallons of water in 10 minutes and up to 50 gallons over several hours. A one hump camel is called a dromedary or Arabian camel. A Bactrian camel has two humps and lives in the wild on the Goba Desert. Today, the Bactrian is confined to Asia, while most of the Arabian camels are on African soil. What is the chemical composition of a skunk's spray? The chief odorous components of the spray have been identified as crotylmercaptan, isopentylmercaptan, and methylcrotyldisulfide in the ratio of 4 colon 4 colon 3. The liquid is an oily, pale yellow, foul smelling spray that can cause severe eye inflammation. This defensive weapon is discharged from two tiny nipples located just inside. The skunk's anus either as a fine spray or a short stream of rain-sized drops. Although the liquid's range is 6.5 to 10 feet, 2 to 3 meters. Its smell can be detected 1.5 miles, 2.5 kilometers, downwind. What is the only American canine that can climb trees? The gray fox, Eurocean scenario argentus, is the only American canine that can climb trees. How does a homing pigeon find its way home? Scientists currently have two hypotheses to explain the homing flight of pigeons. Neither has been proved to the satisfaction of all the experts. The first hypothesis involves an odor map. This theory proposes that young pigeons learn how to return to their original point of departure by smelling different odors that reach their home in the winds from varying directions. They would, for example, learn that a certain odor is carried on winds blowing from the east. If a pigeon were transported eastward, the odor would tell it to fly westward to return home. The second hypothesis proposes that a bird may be able to extract 
its home's latitude and longitude from Earth's magnetic field. It may be proven in the future that neither theory explains the pigeons. Navigational abilities or that some synthesis of the two theories is plausible. What is a bug, biologically speaking? The biological meaning of the word bug is significantly more restrictive than in common usage. People often refer to all insects as bugs, even using the word to include such organisms as bacteria and viruses as well as glitches in computer programs. In the strictest biological sense, a bug is a member of the order Hemiptera, also called true bugs. Members of Hemiptera include bed bugs, squash bugs, clinch bugs, stink bugs, and water striders. Why don't woodpeckers get headaches? Woodpeckers' skulls are particularly sturdy to withstand. The force of the blows as they hammer with their beaks. They are further aided by strong neck muscles to support their heads. Why are Dalmatians firehouse dogs? Before automobiles, coaches and carriages were often accompanied by dogs that kept horses company and guarded them from theft. Dalmatians were particularly well known for the strong bond they formed with horses and firemen, who often owned the strongest and speediest horses in the area, kept the dogs at the station to deter horse thieves. Although fire engines have replaced horses, Dalmatians have remained a part of firehouse life. Both for the appeal of these beautiful dogs and for their nostalgic tie to the past. Why were Clydesdale horses used as war horses? The Clydesdales were among a group of European horses referred to as the Great Horses, which were specifically bred to carry the massively armored knights of the Middle Ages. These animals had to be strong enough to carry a man wearing as much as 100 pounds, 45 kilograms, of armor as well as up to 80 pounds, 36 kilograms, of armor on their own bodies. However, the invention of the musket quickly ended the use of Clydesdales and other great horses on the battlefield as speed and maneuverability became more important than strength. Which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Epiornis maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 inches, 34 centimeters. In length and 9.5 inches, 24 centimeters, 
in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 inches, 15 to 20.5 centimeters. In length and 4 to 6 inches, 5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 inch, 1 centimeter. In length, is that of the vervain hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica. Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest. The kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the largest egg. Relative to body size. Of any living bird. Kiwis are comparable to chickens in size, but their eggs are comparable to ostrich eggs in size. The egg of a brown kiwi is 14 to 20 percent of the female's body weight. Its egg weighs up to one pound, 0.5 kilogram. What are some beneficial insects? Beneficial insects include bees, wasps, flies, butterflies, moths, and others that pollinate plants. Many fruits and vegetables depend on insect pollinators for the production of seeds. Insects are an important source of food for birds, fish, and many animals. In some countries such insects as termites, caterpillars, ants, and bees are eaten as food by people. Products derived from insects include honey and beeswax, shellac, and silk. Some predators such as mantises, ladybugs, or lady beetles, and lacewings feed on other harmful insects. Other helpful insects are parasites that live on or in the body of harmful insects. For example, some wasps lay their eggs in caterpillars that damage tomato plants. Which state was the first to officially name a state bird? In 1926, Kentucky officially named the cardinal as its state bird. How is the light in fireflies produced? The light produced by fireflies, Fotinus pyroles, or lightning bugs, is a kind of heatless light called bioluminescence. It is caused by a chemical reaction in which the substance luciferin undergoes oxidation when the enzyme luciferase is present. The flash is a photon of visible light that radiates when the oxidating chemicals produce a high energy state, which then revert back to their normal state. The flashing is controlled by the nervous system and takes place in special cells called photocytes. The nervous system, photocytes, and the tracheal end organs control the flashing rate. The air temperature also seems to be correlated with the flashing rate. The higher the temperature, the shorter the interval between flashes 8 seconds at 65 degrees Fahrenheit.
18.3 degrees Celsius, and 4 seconds at 82 degrees Fahrenheit 27.7 degrees Celsius. Scientists are uncertain as to why this flashing occurs. The rhythmic flashes could be a means of attracting prey or enabling mating fireflies to signal in heliographic codes. That differ from one species to another, or they could serve as a warning signal. How many quills does a porcupine have? For its defensive weapon, the average North American porcupine has about 30,000 quills or specialized hairs. Comparable in hardness and flexibility to Slivers of celluloid and so sharply pointed that they can penetrate any hide. The quills that do the most damage are the short ones that stud the porcupine's muscular tail. With a few lashes, the porcupine can send a rain of quills. That have tiny scale-like barbs into the skin of its adversary. The quills work their way inward because of their barbs and the involuntary muscular action of the victim. Sometimes the quills can work themselves out. But other times the quills pierce vital organs, and the victim dies. Slow-footed and stocky, porcupines spend much of their time in the trees. Using their formidable incisors to strip off bark and foliage for their food, and supplement their diets with fruits and grasses. Porcupines have a ravenous appetite for salt, as herbivores. Plant-eating animals, their diets have insufficient salt. So natural salt licks, animal bones left by carnivores, meat-eating animals. Yellow pond lilies, and other items having a high salt content, including paints, plywood adhesives, and human clothing that bears traces of sweat, have a strong appeal to porcupines. Why is Archaeopteryx important? Archaeopteryx is the first known bird. It had true feathers that provided insulation and allowed this animal to form scoops with its wings for catching prey. How do birds learn to sing the distinctive melody of their respective species? The ability to learn the proper song appears to be influenced by both heredity and experience. Scientists have speculated that a bird is genetically programmed with the ability to recognize the song of its own species and with the tendency to learn its own song. As a bird begins to sing, it goes through a stage of practice, which closely resembles the babbling of human infants. Through which it perfects the notes and structure of its distinctive song. In order to produce a perfect imitation, the bird must apparently hear the song from an adult during its first months of life. Which is stronger steel or the silk from a spider's web? Spider silk is stronger.
well known for its strength and elasticity, the strongest spider silk has tensile strength. Second only to fused quartz fibers and five times greater than that of steel of equivalent weight. Tensile strength is the longitudinal stress that a substance can bear without tearing apart. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this cereus. Insect Pest Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata. Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. What is the oldest breed of dog? Dogs are the oldest domestic animal, originating 12,000 to 14,000 years ago. They are believed to be descendants of wild canines, most likely wolves, which began to frequent human settlements where food was more readily available. The more aggressive canines were probably driven off or killed, while the less dangerous ones were kept to guard hunt, and later herd other domesticated animals, such as sheep. Attempts at selectively breeding desirable traits likely began soon after. The oldest purebred dog is believed to be the Saluki. Sumerian rock carvings in Mesopotamia. That date to about 7000 BCE depict dogs bearing a striking resemblance to the Saluki. The dogs are 23 to 28 inches, 58 to 71 centimeters, tall with a long, narrow head. The coat is smooth and silky and can be white, cream, fawn, gold, red, grizzle, bluish gray, and tan, black and tan, or tricolour, white, black and tan. The tail is long and feathered. The Saluki has remarkable sight and tremendous speed, which makes it an excellent hunter. The oldest American purebred dog is the American Foxhound. It descends from a pack of foxhounds belonging to an Englishman named Robert. Brooke who settled in Maryland in 1650. These dogs were crossed with other strains imported from England, Ireland, and France to develop the American Foxhound. This dog stands 22 to 25 inches, 56 to 63.5 centimeters, tall. It has a long, slightly domed head, with a straight, squared out muzzle. The coat is of medium length and can be any color. They are used primarily for hunting. The venom of the brown recluse is hemolytic and causes do male mosquitoes bite humans? No. Male mosquitoes live on plant juices, sugary saps, and liquids arising from decomposition. 
they do not have a biting mouth that can penetrate human skin as female mosquitoes do. In some species the females, who lay as many as 200 eggs, need blood to lay their eggs. These are the species that bite humans and other animals. Which breeds of dogs are best for families with young children? Research has shown that Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, Beagle, Collie, Bichon Frise, Cairn Terrier, Pug, Coonhound, Boxer, Basset Hound, or mixes of these breeds are best for families with young children. Which breeds of dogs are best for families with young children? Research has shown that Golden Retriever, Labrador Retriever, Beagle, Collie, Bichon Frise, Cairn Terrier, Pug, Coonhound, Boxer, Basset Hound, or mixes of these breeds are best for families with young children. Which dogs are the easiest to train? In a study of 56 popular dog breeds the top breeds to train were Shetland Sheepdogs, Shedzus. Miniature Toy and Standard Poodles, Bichons Frises, English Springer Spaniels, and Welsh Corgis. Which dogs are the easiest to train? In a study of 56 popular dog breeds the top breeds to train were Shetland Sheepdogs, Shedzus. Miniature Toy and Standard Poodles, Bichons Frises, English Springer Spaniels, and Welsh Corgis. Why do dogs hear more than humans? A dog's ears are highly mobile, allowing it to scan its environment for sounds. The ears capture the sounds and funnel them down to the eardrum. Dogs can hear sounds from four times farther away than humans. Why do dogs hear more than humans? A dog's ears are highly mobile, allowing it to scan its environment for sounds. The ears capture the sounds and funnel them down to the eardrum. Dogs can hear sounds from four times farther away than humans. Why do dogs howl at sirens? The high pitch of a siren is very similar to the pitch of a dog's howl. A dog's howl is a way of communicating with other dogs either to indicate location or to define territory. When a dog responds to an ambulance or fire engine siren, he is returning the call of the wild.
Why do dogs howl at sirens? The high pitch of a siren is very similar to the pitch of a dog's howl. A dog's howl is a way of communicating with other dogs either to indicate location or to define territory. When a dog responds to an ambulance or fire engine siren, he is returning the call of the wild. What breeds of dogs do not shed? Poodles, Kerry Blue Terriers, and Schnauzers do not shed. What breeds of dogs do not shed? Poodles, Kerry Blue Terriers, and Schnauzers do not shed. Which breed is known as the wrinkled dog? The Sharpe, or Chinese fighting dog, is covered with folds of loose skin. It stands 18 to 20 inches, 46 to 51 centimeters, tall and weighs up to 50 pounds, 22.5 kilograms. Its solid colored coat can be black, red, fawn, or cream. The dog originated in Tibet or the northern provinces of China some 2000 years ago. The People's Republic of China put such a high tax on Sharpays, however, that few people could afford to keep them, and the dog was in danger of extinction. But a few specimens were smuggled out of China. And the breed has made a comeback in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Although bred as a fighting dog, the Sharpe is generally an amiable companion. Which breed is known as the wrinkled dog? The Sharpe, or Chinese fighting dog, is covered with folds of loose skin. It stands 18 to 20 inches, 46 to 51 centimeters, tall and weighs up to 50 pounds, 22.5 kilograms. Its solid colored coat can be black, red, fawn, or cream. The dog originated in Tibet or the northern provinces of China some 2000 years ago. The People's Republic of China put such a high tax on Sharpays, however, that few people could afford to keep them, and the dog was in danger of extinction. But a few specimens were smuggled out of China. And the breed has made a comeback in the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. Although bred as a fighting dog, the Sharpe is generally an amiable companion. What was the contribution to medical science of a dog named Marjorie? Marjorie was a diabetic black and white mongrel that was the first creature to be kept alive by insulin. 
a substance that controls the level of sugar in the blood. What was the contribution to medical science of a dog named Marjorie? Marjorie was a diabetic black and white mongrel that was the first creature to be kept alive by insulin. A substance that controls the level of sugar in the blood. Which breed is known as the voiceless dog? The Basenji dog does not bark. When happy, it will make an appealing sound described as something between a chortle and a yodel. It also snarls and growls on occasion. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and originating in Central Africa. The Basenji was often given as a present to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Following the decline of the Egyptian civilization, the Basenji was still valued in Central Africa for its hunting prowess and its silence. The dog was rediscovered by English explorers in the 19th century. Although it was not widely bred until the 1940s, the Basenji is a small, Lightly built dog with a flat skull and a long, rounded muzzle. It measures 16 to 17 inches, 40 to 43 centimeters. In height at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 24 pounds, 10 to 11 kilograms. The coat is short and silky in texture. The feet, chest, and tail tip are white, the rest of the coat is chestnut red, black, or black and tan. Which breed is known as the voiceless dog? The Basenji dog does not bark. When happy, it will make an appealing sound described as something between a chortle and a yodel. It also snarls and growls on occasion. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and originating in Central Africa. The Basenji was often given as a present to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Following the decline of the Egyptian civilization, the Basenji was still valued in Central Africa for its hunting prowess and its silence. The dog was rediscovered by English explorers in the 19th century. Although it was not widely bred until the 1940s, the Basenji is a small, lightly built dog with a flat skull and a long, rounded muzzle. It measures 16 to 17 inches, 40 to 43 centimeters. In height at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 24 pounds, 10 to 11 kilograms. The coat is short and silky in texture. The feet, chest, and tail tip are white, the rest of the coat is chestnut red, black, or black and tan. What food odors do dogs like best? In a study of different foods, researchers found that liver and chicken ranked higher than everything else. 
including hamburgers, fish, vegetables, and fresh fruit. What food odors do dogs like best? In a study of different foods, researchers found that liver and chicken ranked higher than everything else. Including hamburgers, fish, vegetables, and fresh fruit. What is the rarest breed of dog? The Talton Bear Dog, of which only a few remain, is thought to be the rarest dog. In danger of extinction, this breed was once used by the Talton. Indians of Western Canada to hunt bear, lynx, and porcupine. What is the rarest breed of dog? The Talton Bear Dog, of which only a few remain, is thought to be the rarest dog. In danger of extinction, this breed was once used by the Talton. Indians of Western Canada to hunt bear, lynx, and porcupine. What is the newest method of tagging a dog? There is now a computer age dog tag. A microchip is implanted painlessly between the dog's shoulder blades. The semiconductor carries a 10 digit code, which can be read by a scanner. When the pet is found, the code can be phoned into a national database to locate the owner. The microchip can store license number, medical condition, and the owner's address and phone number. What is the newest method of tagging a dog? There is now a computer age dog tag. A microchip is implanted painlessly between the dog's shoulder blades. The semiconductor carries a 10-digit code, which can be read by a scanner. When the pet is found, the code can be phoned into a national database to locate the owner. The microchip can store license number, medical condition, and the owner's address and phone number. How is the age of a dog or cat computed in human years? When a cat is one year old, it is about 20 years old in human years. Each additional year is multiplied by four. Another source counts the age of a cat slightly differently. At age 1, a cat's age equals 16 human years. At age 2, a cat's age is 24 human years. Each additional year is multiplied by 4. When a dog is 1 year old, it is about 15 years old in human years. At age 2 it is about 24, after age 2, each additional year is multiplied by 4.
How is the age of a dog or cat computed in human years? When a cat is one year old, it is about 20 years old in human years. Each additional year is multiplied by 4. Another source counts the age of a cat slightly differently. At age 1, a cat's age equals 16 human years. At age 2, a cat's age is 24 human years. Each additional year is multiplied by 4. When a dog is 1 year old, it is about 15 years old in human years. At age 2 it is about 24, after age 2, each additional year is multiplied by 4. Why do dogs howl at sirens? The high pitch of a siren is very similar to the pitch of a dog's howl. A dog's howl is a way of communicating with other dogs either to indicate location or to define territory. When a dog responds to an ambulance or fire engine siren, he is returning the call of the wild. How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called resilin. The resilin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the resilin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the resilin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 inches, 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 inches, 18.4 centimeters, in height. What is the fastest swimming whale? The orca or killer whale, or sinus orca, is the fastest swimming whale. In fact, it is the fastest swimming marine mammal with speeds that reach 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers per hour. Which mammals have the shortest gestation periods? Gestation is the period of time between fertilization and birth in oviparous animals. The shortest gestation period known is 12 to 13 days, shared by three marsupials. The American or Virginian opossum, Didelphys marsupialis, the rare water opossum, or Yapak, Chironectes minimus. Of Central and Northern South America, and the Eastern native cat, Dossi urus viverinus, of Australia. 
The young of each of these marsupials are born while still immature and complete their development in the ventral pouch of their mother. While 12 to 13 days is the average, the gestation period is sometimes as short as 8 days. The longest gestation period for a mammal is that of the African elephant. Loxodonta africana, with an average of 660 days, and a maximum of 760 days. Which dogs are the easiest to train? In a study of 56 popular dog breeds the top breeds to train were Shetland sheep dogs, Shidzus. Miniature toy and standard poodles, Bichens Frises, English Springer Spaniels, and Welsh Corgis. How does a butterfly differ from a moth? While these guidelines generally hold true, there are exceptions. Moths have hairy bodies, and most have tiny hooks or bristles linking the forewing to the hindwing. Butterflies do not have either characteristic. Which breed is known as the voiceless dog? The Basenji dog does not bark. When happy, it will make an appealing sound described as something between a chortle and a yodel. It also snarls and growls on occasion. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, and originating in Central Africa. The Basenji was often given as a present to the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Following the decline of the Egyptian civilization, the Basenji was still valued in Central Africa for its hunting prowess and its silence. The dog was rediscovered by English explorers in the 19th century. Although it was not widely bred until the 1940s. The Basenji is a small, lightly built dog with a flat skull and a long, rounded muzzle. It measures 16 to 17 inches, 40 to 43 centimeters. In height at the shoulder and weighs 22 to 24 pounds, 10 to 11 kilograms. The coat is short and silky in texture. The feet, chest, and tail tip are white, the rest of the coat is chestnut red, black, or black and tan. What was the contribution to medical science of a dog named Marjorie? Marjorie was a diabetic black and white mongrel that was the first creature to be kept alive by insulin. A substance that controls the level of sugar in the blood. How much weight can an ant carry? Ants are the super weight lifters of the animal kingdom. They are strong in relation to their size and can carry objects 10 to 20 times. 
their own weight some species can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100 pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. Why do dogs hear more than humans? A dog's ears are highly mobile allowing it to scan its environment for sounds. The ears capture the sounds and funnel them down to the eardrum. Dogs can hear sounds from four times farther away than humans. What food odors do dogs like best? In a study of different foods, researchers found that liver and chicken ranked higher than everything else. Including hamburgers, fish, vegetables, and fresh fruit. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials, including kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, and Tasmanian devils, possess an abdominal pouch, called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. What are killer bees? Africanized honeybees the term entomologists prefer rather than killer bees are a hybrid originating in Brazil. Where African honeybees were imported in 1956. The breeders hoping to produce a bee better suited to producing more honey in the tropics. Instead found that African bees soon hybridized with and mostly displaced the familiar European honey bees. Although they produce more honey, Africanized honey bees, Apis mellifer scutellata, also are more dangerous than European bees because they attack intruders in greater numbers. 
Since their introduction, they have been responsible for approximately 1,000 human deaths. In addition to such safety issues, concern is growing regarding the effect of possible hybridization on the U.S. beekeeping industry. In October 1990, the bees crossed the Mexican border into the United States. They reached Arizona in 1993. In 1996, six years after their arrival in the United States, Africanized honeybees could be found in parts of Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. As of 2009, Africanized honeybees are also found in Nevada, Utah, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Their migration northward has slowed partially because they are a tropical insect and cannot live in colder climates. Experts have suggested two possible ways of limiting the spread of the Africanized honeybees. The first is drone flooding, a process by which large numbers of European drones are kept in areas where commercially reared European queen bees mate, thereby ensuring that only limited mating occurs between Africanized drones and European queens. The second method is frequent requeening. In which a beekeeper replaces a colony's queen with one of his or her own choosing. The beekeeper can then be assured that the queens are European and that they have already mated with European drones. <laughs>